Hello everybody, what's going on? It is Tim Michael, welcome to my channel, Tim Michael. <laughs> a lot's changed here, and it used to be Tim Michael Arts, now it's just Tim Michael. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in another video, where today I'm going to tell you about something that I talked about in my last video, but something I want to show you now, how to set this up. We talked a little bit about how to draw caricatures, you guys must have really liked it, because everyone smacked the like button, thank you so much. If you enjoy this video, would you do it again please? And if you think that this is going to be useful, share it with a friend, I would love it. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, I showed you guys the importance of having the ability to flip your image. And by flipping the image, we'll just click here and hit this button and flip. And you can see the back side of the image. It helps a lot with likeness, helps you kind of get form uh, as you set things up. But here's the thing. Where is flip in Clip Studio Paint Pro? If I'm looking for a flip button, there's two places I'm going to look. One is over here in the top menu, and you can see it right up over here in this corner. This little button right here is our flip menu, okay? So if you decide that you want to flip something here to make sure that you're getting your artwork correct, that button up there works. Or if you need to do something a little bit even more intensive, where maybe you're of the artists who prefer to actually see shapes more than seeing the face. I know some artists who will actually draw upside down, believe it or not, to focus more on the shapes and on the tones and things to help them build up the tones more than focusing on the overall um, caricature of the face. And they do that by flipping the artwork upside down. So these, these two buttons over here, they're under your navigator. If you don't know where your navigator is, you just go to Window, and you come on down here somewhere, and somewhere in this whole menu of things, there's one here, right here, called Navigator. And that's the one you're looking for, and that's going to pull up this little navigation window with all these buttons. I do find this very useful, especially on my tablet. I draw also with a Surface Pro 4 if I'm not here in my studio. And it's very, very helpful because I can zoom in, zoom out, rotate the canvas. Because sometimes not not always the finger touch on my on my Surface Pro 4 isn't that great. So it really helps to have these buttons over here. Now, the next option that you have is you can click on the image that you want to flip. And you can say, okay, we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. That's another way to go. But that's obviously a pretty far path to do that. So here's what I did. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a screen that I haven't shown you guys yet, which is really, really cool. I hope that you like this. Check this out. Here we go. Whoop. Here you go. So this is my over viewpoint. So you can see over top my studio here. Here's my screen. Uh, this is the screen that I look at when I'm talking to you guys. Here's the camera that I look in when I'm talking to you guys. All that little jazz. But I got something right here, and this is my baby. This is something where everyone's asking me, how do you zoom in and out and do all this crazy stuff so well? This guy right here, it's the Logitech, Logitech G13. This is what I use for everything when I want to zoom out, when I want to zoom in. And I'll just go ahead and show you real quick here. Let me go ahead and click back into my screen here. If I want to undo like that dot and just hit that button there, I can zoom out, I can zoom in, I can make my brush bigger, I can make it smaller. Uh, let's see, I can hold down this button here and click on my canvas to rotate it. Um, I can, what else do I have in here? And then I programmed this button, G7 up here, I programmed this one to be my flip button. Very, very useful. I also have this one down here, this button next to my... my uh, what is this? A joystick. And that one uses my uh, eyedropper tool. or my It's my basically my alt key. So when I'm in my paint mode, it'll do um, eyedropper tool. And then this one down here, right below the joystick, helps me move across the canvas. Very, very helpful. This thing is amazing. You can do all sorts of programming in it. If you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial about it, I actually did do a video really going in-depth about this. But if you want to see it again... I'll be happy to do it again in the near future, and we'll literally just re-record it and give you guys a new updated version, because I don't really know how updated that previous one was, okay? So I'm not going to just show you how to program it on here. We're not going to worry about this. Not everyone has this. I'm going to show you how to do it on the keyboard. Super easy. Don't worry about it. The thing I found is that a lot of people really struggle with flipping back and forth between... Uh, the left and right, so being able to switch your image around. And the reason why they do that is because they have no idea where to find the button for it. 
And it makes an awful lot of sense just to program in your own button. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here to, if I'm correct, um, da, 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 da. I think we're looking under File and Shortcut Settings. Is that it? Oh, man, my goodness. I'm sorry, I should know this already. Yes, Shortcut Settings. And you can see here that here are all the different bars that go along the top of your screen here. So here's your file, edit, animation, layer, selection, view, filter, window, help. I almost said herp, which doesn't make any sense. File, edit, animation. So you can see that's all up there. To get to the flip one, all we got to do is go to view, scroll down, and you can see flip horizontal. And here's flip vertical. So if you want to do that other style, you can set that up as well. Just click on it, and then you want to edit the shortcut, and then in this bar, you'll type in what letter you want. I have it programmed as T. Apparently, T is also used for text, so it turned off that setting so that I could use that. And then I just hit OK, and it programmed it in, and then I programmed it into my other little board separately so that when I'm in here, it's just a flick of a button, and we're good to go. So that's all I was going to show you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. It is quick this time. I hope that you guys liked it, though. Remember, I ask all the time, what do you guys want to learn? And I ask you guys on Twitter. All you got to do is follow me on Twitter, answer back with what tutorial you want to see, and I will work my best on trying to create that tutorial for you guys. This has been really helpful for me because I've been working on so much artwork and not having enough time to do stuff for you guys. Um, and so by doing this quick live stuff, it's been super, super helpful for me to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one and give you these quick tutorials. Now, basically, anything that you're trying to do in this, in this program can be programmed in using that same thing. So if you need a different setting or a different modifier or something, if you want to program something to work quickly, maybe you want to copy something and paste something uh, instead of doing control um, control C and control V like a standard around computers you can go through here find what you want to change and program everything in here to be completely different and it, if it helps you with your artwork and helps you speed stuff up you're good to go use your key commands learn those shortcuts on your key key controller on your keypad it's gonna help you out a lot and when you're a guy like me who's got a ton of artwork to get done and it takes forever anything that you can do to not have to reach over to your sub menus on the side of your screen it's gonna be super helpful thank you so much for watching guys I hope that you've enjoyed this very quick tutorial I apologize for how brief it is I will be back with more though and I look forward to talking with you guys in the future as you know if you liked this hit the like button. If you want to, please subscribe, or as we like to say, subscribe here on my YouTube channel. And then, of course, leave a comment down below. And as you can see right below me here, I have all of my active patrons. These are patrons who have supported me through thick and thin and who are amazing people who are donating per video. You can set your limits. If I make 100 videos in a month, I don't want you freaking out because you're don donating a dollar a video. You can set a limit. So you can say, okay, I really only want to support Tim for three videos out of the month for a dollar and you can set all that up if you just want to support one video for one dollar a month you can totally set that up it's amazing and helpful and there's a lot coming up in my life personally and I really want your help because admittedly I'd love to turn this into my day job I really would and there's so much that goes into this and so much time that goes into this and every one of these people here on the side here who are helping me with or should I say down here and I'll look down here fakingly pointing down at them because they're all down here these are the people who are truly going the extra mile to support me you guys do so much by subscribing liking leaving comments and I love you so much and I love these guys because they're really trying to make an effort to help me out Thank you so much, guys. Of course, there are rewards. If you're supporting at certain dollar levels, you can either get caricatures from me after you've don donated a certain number of times. Um, if you uh, are wanting one-on-one -on -one classes with me, I offer those as well at a certain dollar value. There's tons of stuff in here. All you got to do is go look on my Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Tim Michael Lots. I'd love it if you go check it out. Description links and dis dis links in the description belows. So go check it out. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time on another video.